Hey Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading. That does not seem possible, but here we are. So, let me get your card shuffled here. Sagittarius, April 2019 in love. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagis. All right, your first card is out, and it is the Two of Cups. Beautiful way to start your reading here. Um, definitely coming into the month with um, somebody who you um, can picture seeing the rest of your life with. Um, for me, the Two of Cups is your natural um how like what house one and seven um you know in astrology so you could be connecting with a gemini um or any water sign or just somebody who you feel you could see spending the rest of your life with the next card out is the page of swords the four of wands the page of cups six of cups my goodness okay let's Orange is a little bit different. All right. So Sagittarius, um, you could be uh, like looking into this person. You could be looking into relocating to a new home with the Four of Wands. That's stability, your foundation, your home life. So you could be searching and um, like looking up information about moving, moving closer to this person or this person coming towards you. Um, this is a really nice light, like very deep reading, but very... Um, the energy is so much lighter. The person you're dealing with, they are wanting to um, offer you this love. The love that they are offering, this is early in a relationship because it is a page, but they are offering you the real deal because it comes right underneath the Two of Cups. With the Six of Cups, this is a uh, soulmate from a past lifetime. Um, somebody, you could each have your own children. Um, but yeah, this is most definitely fated for you to have this. This is your destiny. This person was meant to come into your life. This person was meant to um, renew that love in your life and just give you, especially with uh, Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune being here too, you are deserving this fated relationship. This is what is meant for you. This is your life partner. When I get Wheel of Fortune right under the Four of Wands, most definitely a life partner. You are releasing and letting go somebody who put you in weight, an earth sign who um, did not move towards you quick enough, could have had, whoa, could have had um, toxic energy attached to them. They are addicted to drama, most definitely. Um, and they were connected to another relationship that puts you in a third party. So you are releasing that um, in April, like fully releasing it, letting go of that devil energy. No longer worried whether or not this relationship with this earth sign or, uh, well, that's Capricorn, Libra, Earth sign or Libra is the only signs I'm seeing for the person you're truly, truly letting go of because you do have this new beginning on the horizon with somebody you just met or um, somebody that you're coming into a relationship for the first time with. What else does Sagittarius needs to know for April? I will get some clarifiers on this. So... All right, I think that's all <clears throat> I'm going to get out of that. So let's get some clarifiers here. Let's go with the spellcasters. So let's see why these this Two of Cups is here for you, Sagis. The King of Swords. So you could be connecting with an, this person most heavily Gemini, I'm telling you, because with the Two of Cups for me, that is... You're one and seven, which for Sagittarius is Gemini. And then it comes in as the King of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is this person. Um, they're a person that um, isn't afraid to take action, but they do it in a very um, calculated um, manner. They, they really think it through. They've really thought through this relationship with you as well, Sagittarius. And they really want to offer you this Ace of Cups. Why is a Page of Swords here for Sagittarius? 
the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you're cutting yourself away from a relationship that was not nourishing to you, nurturing to you, did not nourish your soul. Um, that is that person over here. I do see it being the Earth sign, but um, no longer willing to. Um, Spend any more time trying to get that old relationship to work. Um, somebody is new, new is here and has caught your attention, Sagittarius. Why is the Four of Wands here for Saggies? All right, wow. For the Four of Wands, you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And being coming out of the fog, the the universe, the world, they you are rising from the ashes. You are coming out, speaking your truth, um, knowing what you want, and not settling for that. You're also not going to allow anyone in your life that doesn't follow those guidelines as well. And this person is here to give you this new beginning, this new emotional. You could just be so emotionally happy right now, Sagittarius, that you are just beside yourself. Um, with that Four of Wands energy. With the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Emperor. So yeah, this person, the the love is young right now. It's a it's a, a small offer at the moment just because the two of you just met, the two of you just started this relationship. But this will ascend from the Page of Cups to the highest vibrating, highest vibration relationship you can attain. Um, this person knows what they want in life. They're going to go get it. They're very well driven. They have everything in order and they want to, they're extending this lighthearted love offer to you because they really want to build a life with you. This person is really into you, Sagittarius. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, so the Ten of Wands is here. You need to let go of something from your past. There's something from your past that's going to keep the two of you from moving forward. Um, with the Six of Cups, that is a relationship that has already happened. It needs to be put down, that burden. You are coming to the end of that cycle. This, You know what to do. You know where you have to go. And, and this has to do with a relationship where you were kept a secret or you kept them a secret. That has to be totally released. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune can come in here and uh, give you your good fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Sagittarius? Wow, the Empress. So, like I was saying, um, they offered you this, you know, this small offer right now, but they do have the potential and they will become the Emperor in this relationship. And it's bringing in the highest form of vibration in a relationship. The two of you are going to create this beautiful destiny together because it is fated for you. It is meant to come in for you. This right here is a divine partnership. No question about it. The Emperor, the Empress, and the Two of Cups paired with the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Wands, Sagittarius. This is ridiculously good. Like, so good. Why is the Ace of Cups here? This is your new beginning. This is what you've been trying to manifest. This is your happily ever after, Sagittarius. And it's coming to you. Yeah, look. I just said your happily ever after. Your celebration. You're so happy. The two of you will be able to celebrate with friends and family and loved ones on this new beginning. This is such an amazing, amazing read. I hope this resonates with all of you. You know, I'm not even going to clarify what you're releasing because I do see you releasing it. You are in a moment of pause between two people. You're not going to put up with a third party energy anymore. You're not waiting for that earth sign any longer because they are still tied and connected to a karmic soulmate. They're not seeking justice anytime soon. And you're moving on with a life partner, a love of your life. Somebody who is a true divine partner right here. Like, it does not get any better than this. Um, very heavy Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, for those of you who are um, uh, paying attention to signs, I also have Aries and uh, Taurus here. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, all right, Sagittarius. Very positive month for you in the month of April. Let's get uh, a romance card for you guys. And see where we're going to go. Romance Angels, give me one card for the month of April for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. 
wherever you are meant to go, you will be led by the divine. You have to listen. You have to be quiet long enough to listen, and it will lead you to where you're meant to go, but you have to listen. You have to take the steps that you're being guided to take because it's going to come uh, for the majority of you in your intuition, um, through your, you know, your, your inner voice. So make sure you are taking the steps you're guided to take because it's going to lead you to that true, true divine partner. So, all right, Sagittarius, have a beautiful April. God bless.